Welcome to the ImageCast Evolution Voting System. This machine has the capability to service all voters, including voters with disabilities. The first step when setting up our machine is to remove the outside cover. Locate your power cord. It's in the back of the machine. Unwind the power cord and plug your voting machine into a power source. After you plug your machine in, locate the ATI. The ATI is used for an accessible voting session. This will be discussed later in our demonstration. The ATI plugs right into the AVS port. Step five is to lift up the screen. Pull down the stand until it snaps securely into place. Lift up the privacy cover, open the two sides, and clip them in. This ensures voter privacy. When the machine is ready, you will begin to hear it beep. The screen will tell you to insert the security key. The keypad is located on the right side of the scanner. Once the keypad recognizes the key, you will be given a prompt to enter in a username and password. Your machine is now uploading the required system files. Once the machine loads the required files, the main menu appears on the screen. Tap Open Polls. The right side of the screen confirms that the polls have not yet been open. Tap the open button, which will take you to the open poll confirmation screen. You will be shown a prompt, which lets you know you have chosen to open the polls. Once you tap OK, your opening tape receipt will print. You will then be asked if you would like to print additional copies. Unless instructed to do so by the Board of Elections, tap No. You are now at the poll worker menu. Tap standard voting and then the start button on the right. At this point, confirm you wish to start a standard voting session by pressing OK. Your system is now ready for its first voters. Take notice that the total votes read zero. In the next portion, we will demonstrate how to start an accessible voting session for a voter who needs the machine to mark their ballot for them. This machine offers three devices a voter can utilize to mark their ballot. An ATI, paddles, and a sip and puff device. The screen will then instruct the voter to insert their blank ballot into the voting machine. Once the ballot is inserted, the program will automatically start. Please ensure the headphones are plugged into the ATI, so the voter will be able to hear the instructions. The voter will then select which device they are using and then hear specialized instructions. The voter will then be able to navigate their ballot using the device of their choice. Once the voter is done filling out their ballot, their marked ballot will print and cast into the ballot box. After the ballot casts, the machine will automatically switch back into standard voting mode. In order to close the polls, you need to insert the security key into its keypad. This will bring up the main menu. On the main menu, tap close poll. The right side of the screen confirms the polls are still currently open. Tap the close button, which will take you to the close poll confirmation screen. You will be shown a prompt, which lets you know you have chosen to close the poll. 
Once you tap OK, your closing tape receipt will print. You will then be asked if you would like to print additional copies. Once again, unless instructed by the Board of Elections, tap no. In order to power down the machine, tap the power icon in the upper right corner of the screen. You are then given three options. Tap shut down. In order to close the machine, fold in your privacy screens. Lift up the stand and snap securely to the back of the screen. Unplug the machine and wind up the power cord. Make sure to unplug the ATI from the AVS port and fasten it into its cradle. Place the cover back on the machine and seal the machine as directed by the Board of Elections. This concludes our demonstration. We thank you for your service.